dollar gift. That's a real nice attitude, Claire. Oh, be honest, Andy. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? I mean, picture this. You're there with all the sports. You know exactly what you'd do. You'd say hi to him, and when he left, you'd cut him all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. No way. Okay. What if I came up to you? The same exact thing. You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? That makes me a bitch? No. Because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. And you don't got the balls to stand up to your friends and tell them that you're going to like who you want to like. OK, what about you, you hypocrite? Why don't you take Allison to one of your heavy metal vomit parties? Or take Brian out to the parking lot at lunch and get higher? What about Andy, for that matter? What about me? What would your friends say if we were walking down the hall together? They'd laugh their asses off, and you'd probably tell them that you were doing it with me so they'd forgive you for being seen with me. Don't you ever talk about my friends. You don't know any of my friends, you don't look at any of my friends, and you certainly wouldn't condescend to speak to any of my friends, so you just strip to the things that you know. Shopping, nail polish, your father's BMW, and your poor, rich, drunk mother in the Caribbean. Shut up! And as far as being concerned about what's going to happen when you and I walk down the hallways of school, you can forget it, because it's never going to happen. Just bury your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you. Yeah? Good. 